Hello dear learners! Welcome to Get an MP3 Baby! Did you know that what you say is important, but the way you say it makes it more significant? I'm Teacher Shirley and I am here to guide you in exploring the world of public speaking. Today, we will be discovering how to speak right and delivering special occasion speeches. So, grab your paper, pen, and self-learning module as they will serve as your ticket in this new and meaningful adventure. Oops! Before we go, be reminded of what is expected from you at the end of our journey. 1. Identify prosodic features of speech. 2. Characterize prosodic features of speech. And three, employ prosodic features in writing and delivering a speech. To begin with, let's see what you already know about our lesson by answering the following questions. In doing so, read the question very carefully. Then, write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Which term refers to a set of variables that affect how a message is communicated and understood? A. Intonation B. Prosody C. Speech or D. Stress Number two, aside from using appropriate words in speech delivery, which is concerned with a non-verbal expression to be better understood by the audience. Letter A, pitch. B, speed. C, rhythm. Or D, body language. Number 3. Which prosodic feature of speech refers to the amount of volume used when speaking? Letter A. Intonation. B. Loudness. C. Pitch. Or D. Speed. Number 4. This feature of speech reflects the rise and fall in pitch that occurs when we are speaking. Letter A. Intonation B. Loudness C. Rhythm or D. Stress Number 5. Which prosodic feature refers to the flow of connected speech that comes from the combination of stressed or unstressed words and pauses in a phrase or sentence? Letter A. Intonation B. Loudness C. Rhythm or D. Stress Let's Check your answer For number one The answer is letter D Number two Letter A Number three Letter C Number 4 Letter D And number 5 Letter D
Let us now proceed to the next part of our journey. Some people have influenced us throughout the ages by their inspiring speeches and courageous acts. Let's examine what the authors Sir Ralph Richardson and Joseph Conrad have to share about conveying a message through speech. Try to understand their viewpoint and how they relate to you. According to Sir Ralph Richardson, the most precious things in speech are the pauses. On the other hand, Joseph Conrad says, he who wants to persuade should put his trust not in the right argument, but in the right word. The power of sound has always been greater than the power of sense. Did you understand what we have just read? Then answer the following questions in a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. What did the two personas talk about? 2. If you were the persona, what statement could you contribute based on your experience in writing or delivering a speech? You have just accomplished your first learning task, and now you'll have to complete another activity that directs you to recall your prior knowledge about stress and the other prosodic features of speech. Here is the direction. For items 1 to 3, read the statements orally, then identify the meaning of the underlined word. Write the letter of your answer in your paper. Number 1. Health authorities do not permit 14 years old below and 65 years old above to go out of their residences due to COVID-19 infection risks. The underlined word is permit. What is the meaning of the word permit? Letter A, give ability. B, give emphasis. C, give notice. D, give permission. Number 2. Nature gives us permit to utilize its resources. The underlined word is permit. What is the meaning of the word permit? Letter A. A notice. B. An ability. C. An emphasis. Or D. A permission. For items 3 to 5, how should you say the following statements? Decide whether your intonation should be falling or rising. Write up for rising intonation and down for falling intonation on the space provided.
Let us now study the prosodic features of speech. Prosodic feature of speech refers to the different aspects of speech and how they contribute to the meaning of speech. Meanwhile, prosody refers to the set of variables in a speech that affects how a message is communicated and understood. Prosody includes 1. Rhythm Rhythm is the flow of connected speech that comes from the combination of stressed words, unstressed words, and pauses in a phrase or sentence. Number 2. Loudness Loudness is the amount of volume used when speaking. Number 3. Speed is the pace of speech or how fast or slow we speak. Number 4. Pitch The degree of highness or lowness in a person's voice. 5. Intonation Intonation is the rise and fall in pitch that occurs when we are speaking. We often use a rising pitch when we ask a yes or no question. Lastly, stress. Stress is the force or emphasis used on a sound, syllable, or word in comparison to other sounds, syllables, or words. In sentence stress, the emphasis is on the content words, which are nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and demonstratives. The same word can have stress in different places, which changes the meaning of the word. For example, I gave Jason a present. Jason will present his proposal tomorrow. In the first sentence, I gave Jason a present, the stressed syllable is pre, and that makes it a noun, present, which means a gift. In sentence number two, Jason will present his proposal tomorrow. The stressed syllable is sent. Present, which means it is a verb. Now how about the paralinguistic features and vocal effects? What are they? Paralinguistic features such as body language, posture, gestures, and facial expression can give extra information about spoken language. Vocal effects like laughing, throat clearing, gasping, yawning, moaning, sighing, and coughing can also add information. These nonverbal features can support the spoken message or contradict the message and change the meaning of the message completely. Having been given enough information about prosodic features of speech, let us find out how well you understood the lesson.
Answer the following questions based on the information earlier. Number 1. What are the different features of speech? Number 2. How do the features differ from each other? And 3. Which among the features is very important in delivering a speech? It is now your turn to apply what you have learned. In this part of your learning journey, you are tasked to read aloud the text inside a box which is an excerpt from the speech delivered by Prince William as a tribute to his mother. Now that you are done reading the text, do the following activity. Number 1. List down the words that should be stressed in the first statement. Number 2. How should statement 3 be read? Rising or falling? Number 3. What is the prosodic feature applied in the fifth statement? Letter A. Intonation B. Stress C. Rhythm or D. Speed Number 4. Why is comma evident in statement number 2? What is its purpose? Now that you're done with task 5, let's proceed to task 6. Listen carefully to the directions. Watch the video of Prince William delivering a tribute speech for his mother, Princess Diana, then answer what is asked. The link is provided for you in your module. When you are done watching, evaluate the speech using the following table. If the prosodic features are present, put a check mark under yes, but if not, put the check mark under no. For example, if the speaker Prince William employed paralinguistic features such as gesture, body language, or posture, then you may put a check mark under the column yes, but put the check mark under column no if none of the features was observed in the video. Let's now see what you have understood in today's lesson. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the letter of your choice on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Which shows a set of variables that affect how a message is communicated and understood? Letter A, intonation, B, prosody, C, speech, or D, stress. Number 2. 
Aside from using appropriate words in speech delivery, it is concerned with the non-verbal expression to be better understood by the audience. Letter A. Pitch. B. Speed. C. Rhythm. Or D. Body language. Number three, which prosodic feature of speech concern an amount of volume used when speaking? A. Intonation B. Loudness C. Pitch or D. Speed This feature of speech refers to the rise and fall in pitch that occurs when we are speaking. A. Intonation B. Loudness C. Rhythm or D. Stress It is another feature of speech which relates to the flow of connected speech that comes from the combination of stressed and unstressed words as well as pauses in a phrase or sentence. Letter A. Intonation B. Loudness C. Rhythm or D. Stress Let's now see if you got the correct answers. For number one, the answer is D. Number two, letter D. Number 3, letter B. Number 4, letter A. And number 5, letter C. Hmm, that was such a tough adventure, right? But then, despite that, I am glad that you were able to survive the challenges along the way. Now, drink some water before we proceed to our final destination. Listen carefully to the directions. Read the transcript of the speech of Prince William found on page 6 of your module. Then, apply the prosodic features of speech you have learned as you deliver it. Here are the things you should do. First, you may record your presentation or take a video of yourself delivering the speech. Second, send it to one of your classmates and let him or her evaluate your speech using the rubric provided on your module. And then, submit it to your teacher. Again, be guided of the oral presentation grading criteria as you do your output. Take note, delivery is 20%, organization is 20%, language is 15%,
and audience is 15%. Wow, we have completed our journey and you just did a great job. You deserve to take a break. But before we call it a day, always remember that what we say is important, but the way we say it makes it more significant. Once again, this is Teacher Shirley, your guide in exploring English 10. See you in our next trip.